Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech Social Side, and today we are going to see about the Power Query option inside the Azure Data Factory. So, what is the Power Query? So, Power Query is available inside the Excel, inside the Power BI, inside the Azure Data Factory as well. We can also call this as the Wrangling Data Flow. So, this is the special type of the data flow by which we can do certain transformation and we can modify our data as per our requirement. So go to on the browser and we'll try to understand the requirement first. So here we have this table, which is the sales table. So what is the requirement? So here we can see the sales data. So the sales data is having the data like sales order ID, date, customer ID, then quantity, value and country. So what we want to get, for example, if your manager or your senior manager have requested you to get the country by sale, then how you can do that? or you can directly write the query here and you can get the data or you can do the same thing inside the Azure Data Factory if that data is going to required on the daily basis then you can create the Azure Data Factory for the same so in the output we will be going to have only two columns first is the country and second is the sum of this value let me go in the browser and here before going to so here we can see the option for the power query so before going to implement the power query let me go inside the youtube so inside the youtube you can search for ss unitech so once you will search ss unitech then you will get my youtube channel so you can open this one and after this you can go in the playlist so in this playlist you can scroll downside and here you will see the playlist for the power bi tutorial for beginners so let me open this one so this playlist you can open and here you can directly jump on the video number five so here we have started implementing about the power query editor so this power query editor is nothing but the power query which is inside the azure data factory as well so here we have explained each and everything which is available inside the power query so you can see the edit rows in the next video then append queries then edit columns then column data so all these videos i have already recorded here so you can watch and you can implement as per your requirement inside the azure data factory so let me go here and quickly try to implement the scenario which we have discussed so let me try to add the new power query here and once we have selected this power query let me call this power query as customer sale by country now once we have done this then here we can observe we have two tab first is the setting and second is the parameter if we are going to have any parameter inside the data set then those will be appear here otherwise we will not see anything so let me go in the setting here we can add one data set or more than one so here we can see this data set so as we have already created the data set for the same so let me try to use that one so that is the data set sales azure sql so this data set once we have selected it will be going to open in the power query editor option so that is going to load soon so we have to wait so here we can see the currently not all power query m function are supported for data wrangling despite being available for authoring so it means we cannot use all the m functions that we have seen inside the power bi tutorial video inside the azure data factory but most of them we can use here we have added this data set so if you want to add another one you can click on this plus symbol and you can add another data set as well so for example if you want to select this sales.csv then that will be going to load as well so here it is loading as we can see so here we can see under this adf resources we will see two options first we can see data set sales and second for this one so i am not going to use the second one so let me quickly delete that so now here we can see this data let me try to make this as maximize mode here let me scroll this downside so this is the data that we have so what we want to do with this data we want to do the group by on the country and some of the value but here we can see the data type of all these which is the string as we can see abc so either we can convert directly from here with the one two three like this 
or we can do one thing we can select all these columns and after selecting you can go inside the transform here we can see the detect data type option so let me try to click that one so it will be automatically detect whatever the data type is available on that column so as here we can see this is converted to 1 to 3 which is the integer this is the string then 1 to 3 1 to 3 and this is the numeric value so that's why 1.2 and this is abc for the country so here inside this query setting we can see the applied steps so steps are going to add one by one over here so if you want to remove any step then we can directly go and click on this cancel button so it will delete that step that we have added so in this step we have used the detect data type so everything got changed what next we want to do we want to do the group by on this so under this transform we can see the option for the group by so let me click on this group by here what it is saying it is saying to group by on the soid all these columns but as per the requirement we want to do the group by only on the country column so as we can see everything is selected here so we don't want group by on the soid so let me click on these three dots and delete this similarly for the date customer id quantity value we want only group by on the country so we have selected that one after that here we can see the new column name so this column name we want to keep like total sales and operation like what we want to perform so we want to do the sum of the value so here we have the sum and on which column we want to do that that should be on the value column so what it will be doing it will be going to get the country and after that the second column is the total sales where is the sum of this value let me click on ok so once we click on ok this operation is going to perform immediately and we can see the data so this feature is very good inside the azure data factory instead of using the data flow if your requirement is going to fulfill by using this power query option then you can also use this so here as we can see we have all this data and we can quickly verify this as well similarly here we can see one step is also added and this step is saying group by so this we have done so after making all these changes this is your final data and here we can see this user query so if you want to rename this so here we can rename and call this like sales by country like this so this will be going to updated with the sales by country so here we get a warning and warning is saying power query is invalid could you find user query in matchup and user query mandatory in power bi so after this here we have certain limitations what is the limitation like if you want to update this which is the user query name then we cannot do that here we have the option to update it that we can see here we can edit and update but it will not allow over here but inside the power bi we can edit that now let me try to publish this so this is in progress publish is completed so now here we can go and now let me try to add a new pipeline to execute this power query that we have created so new pipeline is here and inside this if you can go in this power query let me try to drag and drop this power query activity so this power query activity is used let me try to on this debug option so it will take a little bit time so this power query will be going to execute the power query that we have created sales by country so the purpose is very simple we want to load that data into the output folder of this blob storage and by which anyone can access this so this process we want to do on the daily basis so we can create the pipeline as we are going to create and schedule that so here if we can go on the setting then we can see the power query so we have to select the power query that we have created so power query we have created the sales by country after selecting this like this is the source we have seen but whatever the sync by which we want to keep the file so we can directly go in the here in the sync and here either we can select the existing data set or let me try to create a new one so new data set it is asking like on which location we want to keep the file so i want to keep the file on the azure blob storage let me click on continue 
delimited text click on continue let me call this as sales by country link service we have already created so let me select that one first row as header we can browse the path the path that should be output folder let me click on ok so after making all these we can click on ok so what will be the file name that we need to select now so let me minimize this so here we can see the other options first is the edit once we click on edit then it will open this in this format and here we can modify this data set next we can see this property window so once we click on this property window here we have the option to select the file name so let me try to use the single file once we are going to load that into single file then partition that should be single so we can set that the file name that is the sales by country dot csv so after doing that we can go in the option we can see all these options inside the mapping now here let me try to use the auto mapping or we can disable it and here we can specify the output column names that we want so i am okay with the country and total sales so i am going to use the auto mapping now let me try to click on ok so we have done with this option if you want to delete this query then we can delete and add a new query here here we can see the plus symbol so if we want to use the multiple queries here then we can use this plus symbol so it will add another one and this query as of now we have only one so that we can see only one and here if you want to load that into multiple places we can do that all these options are available here let me delete this so we have done with this let me try to publish this so now let me try to debug it so once it will be executed your output folder will have another file that is the sales by country and where we will see the data so it is in progress let me refresh it so here it got executed successfully let me go into the output folder and let me try to refresh this folder so we should be going to see another file which is the sales by country let me try to open this so this file should have two columns one is the country and second is the total sale that we can see so here we can see the india the sale amount then the us the sale amount and the uk the sale amount so here we have all this data let me go here so this is all about the power query activity and this is the power query editor so here let me go through few things if you can go inside the home then we can see the enter data option where you can insert the data here we can see the properties so if you want to see the property of this query which we have selected we can see here if you want to make any change or the advanced editor option so we will see everything as in json format like this let me cancel this here we can see the choose column so it will select only that column and other columns will be removed here the remove column so it will remove that column which we have selected here keep rows everything is available group by we have already discussed if you want to split any column by two then we can do that here we have the option by delimiter by number of characters by position so all these options are here so by which we can split any column here is the option to mark the first row as header if you want to here we can see the data type of this so if you want to make the change then we can do that if you have multiple queries and we want to do the merge on that query we can do here if you want to append the query then we can append from here go to the transform side and under this transform group by the same option use first row as header the same option here is the option for the transpose if you want to do the transpose we can do from here here we can see the reverse row similarly we can see the count row here we can replace if you want to replace any value by any other value then we can replace it from here next we can see again the same thing here is the reject data type we have already seen that here we have all these like pivot and pivot here we can see like uh, convert to a list a split column is again the same similarly if we can see inside the add column so here it is going to add all columns or from a selected so that is available custom column if you want to generate 
index column we want to generate any conditional column we want to generate we can do all these if you want to create the duplicate of this column that option is also here extract if you want to extract by length or the first character so everything is available we can do all this similarly like mathematical operations we want to do so that is also available so these all the options we can use and i have already discussed about all these in details of this power bi playlist so here you can see like delete or reference or you can see the data modeling then the merge query that i was talking about then the index column duplicate column if else condition inside the m query i have discussed mathematical operation then everything you can see so i have already explained over here so you can watch all these videos for your reference so that will make more easier about the power query option inside the azure data factory so thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos see you in the next video thank you so much